Here's a half example of the furnace with ignition like an igniter. What do we have here? Um, we actually should have here the incoming incoming power two wires for 120 volts incoming power. Then these incoming wires connected directly to the control board. On control board we have here one more like a connector which is connected to the transformer. With this transformer it's transforming 120 volts AC to 24 volts AC and this control board has two circuits. One is 120 volt circuit and another circuit is 24 volts AC volt like alternate current circuit. Okay, low voltage circuit and high voltage circuit. Some devices on this furnace use 120 volts, some devices use 24 volts, but it's like uh, doesn't matter. Okay, here's what we have connectors like uh, like I said W common could be not using doesn't matter uh, when you turn on the power on your control on your wall thermostat you will energize the the relay on thermostat which connecting W and R when you in itself want to make a heat like warmer your house you energizing you else actually uh, bypassing W and R what who happens like I said the next the next happened here's a have a relay a relay which connected to the control board I mean to the control board and this is energizing relay which sending power to inducer blower will motor and this motor start running like that it's starting running like that then because here's a to the heat exchange camera I mean to the room to, for the heat exchanger when you turn on the thermostat and requiring heat here's a bypassing two terminals W and R they here's the incoming for the R terminal 24 volts AC okay like I said it's using like uh, the control board has two circuits low voltage and high voltage 120 volts and 24 volts for the 24 volts uh, circuit here's a also have the control board have the fuse for three amperes okay when you turn on the heat on the thermostat the first thing what will run it will run the the relay on control board which getting power to the inducer motor when you turn on this thing the W and R uh, terminals on control board actually on uh, wall thermostat it will run immediately the inducer motor the next thing because it's uh, in increasing the pressure inside the room whereas uh, we have like a heat exchanger it's actually right here right here uh, it's a uh, here's a half like a pressure switch pressure switch connected to the this heat exchanger collector heat exchanger collector and because it's a sensing that like a decreasing actually decreasing because it's a removing the air from the uh, heat exchange collector it's uh, this pressure switch is usually on this model is normally open it's a closing this circuit this circuit also connected together with safety thermostat on this model it's right here and right here because when that thermostat it's uh, 
responsible for the safe furnace like against the overheat because when the furnace is running for example your heat exchanger give too, too much heat for the body for the frame of furnace then this this heat will reach the these safety thermostats and it will just uh, cut off the whole circuit for the running for for running the furnace it just will not turn on the whole furnace it will try to run multiple times the inducer motor but the circuit for the pressure switch will be turned off and also you could you will probably able to see the the issue the the control board here's have a small indicator which will say you the issue what could be a wrong like a pressure switch like an issue or something like that in this case it could be just not running the blower wheel motor or something uh, wrong with blower wheel inside this inducer motor I mean inducer case because it couldn't like uh, uh, run out the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide okay when this pressure switch is actually the second the third step already it's uh, coming the that signal but the pressure switch is closed this signal it's going to the control board the control board will see what the pressure switch is closed the next relay will send the 120 volts power to the igniter igniter will ignite like it will uh, getting red color you will see that or like a yellow and then the the control board depend on the model uh, could sense the changing of resistance of this igniter or just will run this igniter by time like a 10 to 30 seconds it's running like a 30 seconds it's ignite the the igniter then after 10 or 30 seconds the control board will open the the send the power 24 volts AC to the gas valve this gas valve has just one solenoid which will open the main valve and whole pressure of gas will go through this black pipe to gas injectors because inducer motor is consumed the oxygen from air this air is going through here for why here's always you should have a cover and with holes and this space should be always with some like a gap or like a 10 15 inch or like uh, you your door if you will have uh, your furnace on the closet you should have the door with grills for more air coming to the furnace for like a heat process all right then because the flame the gas is running to the gas injectors and your igniter already is ignited it's red it's hot the gas will be f getting flame this thing will be running like a very high temperature flame and here this wire actually here's a, we have a flame sensor this flame sensor it's uh, will send the small amperage uh, electricity to control board and it will say to control board keep running on the gas valve the gas valve like uh, will turn off automatically when it will not will will not sense the flame or will be something wrong with flame just like if it will stop the inducer motor because it will not suck the air flow through the heat exchanger it will stop the process of the burning okay uh, because 
it's uh, for example, like uh, let's imagine it's running the flame, the heat exchanger getting hot, and here inside, just here, actually this thing is called this thing is called the high limit switch. It's sensing the temperature inside the heat exchanger, and just actually the here's a, we have a collector and it's sensing the temperature inside the heat exchanger camera, the room, and when, for example, they usually like it's reaching 120 Fahrenheit of uh, hot air temperature, and it's usually this high limit switch, it's like running like a thermostat, normally open thermostat, it will close the circuit, this circuit will understand the the control board will understand what the high limit switch reached needed temperature and will close circuit for the relay. This relay is connected to the blower wheel motor and the blower wheel motor will start running the, will start move air through, through the furnace. Okay. Um, the next thing, the next thing, um, it will run the running process. It will run, run, run. It will will hit your house, and when the thermostat will reach needed temperature, for example, you set your temperature for the heat to seventy-five Fahrenheit. Uh, the thermostat will send the warm inside the house it will turn on a, like a cut off the circuit between w and r what will be happen it will be shut down the power to the gas valve because here's a eating 24 volts actually then it will after like a few probably uh, sometimes it's shut down this inducer motor immediately by but by normally it should running a little bit like probably 10 15 seconds and then shoot over the inducer motor too after that because the air handler like a blower wheel motor still running and it's removing the heat from the heat exchanger because heat exchanger is still hot it will run uh, the still the blower wheel motor because high limit switch still hot when for example usually that high limit switch has a like a sign 120 minus like a 15 fahrenheit that will be means that when the high limit switch will reach 105 fahrenheit it will turn off the relay on control board which is running the blower wheel motor that's it